you all rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act have been satisfied with respect to this meeting of the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Glen Ridge. Specifically, the time, date, and location were included in the meeting notice posted in the municipal building and sent to the official newspapers of the township, the Glen Ridge Paper, the Glen Ridge Voice, the Montclair Times, <coughs> and the Star Ledger. Additionally, the agenda for this meeting has been posted on the official Glen Ridge Borough website. The agenda and public handouts for the meeting can be viewed online at www.glenridgenj.org. A public comment period will be held in the order as listed on the meeting agenda, and instructions on how to comment will be provided at the appropriate time. <coughs> will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Councilors Mans? Here. Hughes? Here. Markovitz? Here. Law? Here. Meyer? Here. Morrow? Here. Mayor Patrick is present. Mr. Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you. Are there any written communications? No, Mr. Mayor. Okay, at this time, I have a few comments I'll make, and then we'll move on. As I depart from the council this evening, I would like to take a moment to express my deepest appreciation for having been given the honor and privilege of serving the residents of Glen Ridge for the past 16 years, <coughs> both as a member of the borough council and library board. What I will always remember and treasure about this experience will be the numerous opportunities that I had to serve with some of the most committed, focused, thoughtful, and outstanding people who staff our council, all facets of our borough administration, and a myriad of volunteer organizations that are so vital to the growth and development of our diverse community. <coughs> Clearly, these individuals make Glen Ridge the truly outstanding and desirable community that it is today. <coughs> In conclusion, I wish you all a very happy and healthy 2024. if anybody wishes to be heard. Seeing no one, we'll move on. Um, Councilor Lefkowitz. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, I have no report this evening. However, I do have resolution um, 178-23, um, and, and that is um, to uh, commend the volunteerism of uh, three uh, people, Christopher Valerian, um, has served in the public interest as a member of the Glen Ridge Board of Health for these past 13 years. Rick Mason served as a member of the Planning Board for the past eight years, and Bill Seaman has served in the public interest as a member of the Glen Ridge Board of Adjustment for these past uh, 14 years. So now, therefore, be it resolved that the Mayor and the Council sincerely appreciate the worthwhile contributions that have been made toward the welfare and development of this fine community. I move this resolution. You've heard the resolution, may I hear a second? I'll second. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Any uh, discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call roll? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Councilors Mans? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Glefkowitz? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Thank you. <coughs> Councilor Mons? Yeah, Mr. Mayor, I have resolutions number 181 to 183-23. Um, Whereas volunteering is the most powerful way to impact and connect with your community, Glenridge could not thrive without the time, energy, and resources our resident volunteers contribute to our borough. And we recognize the impact they have on the community. And whereas the mayor and the borough council of the borough of Glenridge desire to convey an expression of its commendation and grateful acknowledgement for the valued services rendered by Arthur Dawson in the public interest as a member of the Glen Ridge Planning Board having served six years. Harry Rush in the public interest as a member of the Glen Ridge Library Board of Trustees having served 10 years and Carol Harpster in the public interest as a member of the Glen Ridge Library Board of Trustees having served 20 years. <laughs> Resolve the mayor and the borough 
Council sincerely appreciate the worthwhile contributions that have been made towards the welfare and development of this fine community. May I move to approve the resolutions? Thank you. Uh, you've heard the resolution. May I hear a second, please? I'll second. Thank you. Amber. Any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Councilors Nance? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Leftovitz? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Thank you. That's all I have. Yes. Councilor Morrow. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I have resolutions. 184-23 through 186-23, uh, also titled Appreciation of Service. Whereas volunteering is the most powerful way to impact and connect with your community, and Glen Ridge could not thrive without the time, energy, and resources our resident volunteers contribute to our borough, and we recognize the impact they have on the community. And whereas the mayor and the borough council are the borough of Glen Ridge, desire to convey an expression of its commendation and grateful acknowledgement for the valued services rendered by Richard Waters in the public interest is a member of the Glen Ridge TV Committee for over 20 years. I'm not sure that he's here today. Uh, no, but Megan, we can all look that way. And, yeah. uh, oh, okay. <laughs> we'll say thank you. Thank you. Uh, Megan Blank in the public interest is a member of the Environmental Advisory Committee having served three years. Is Megan here? Carolee Bull, uh, in the public interest, is a is a member uh, in the public interest is a member of the Environmental Advisory Committee, having served four years. Is Carol here? He's here. Okay. At any rate, and I specifically would like to acknowledge the Environmental Advisory Committee. They do s such a great job in our town, from the eco fair to the pollinator g g gardens to the advocacy on behalf of environmental issues that impact our community. And that is an enormous uh, amount of time and, and energy, and, and so I'd like to thank them. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the mayor and the borough council sincerely appreciate the worthwhile contributions that have been made towards the welfare and development of this fine community. Mayor, I move to approve the resolutions. Uh, you've heard the resolution. May I hear a second, please? I'll second. Thank you, David. Any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> Councilors Nance? Aye. Hughes? <coughs> Leftovitz? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Thank you. Councilor Nance? All right, Mr. Mayor, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> I have resolution number 187-23. Whereas Stuart K. Patrick was born to Joseph and Phoebe Patrick in New York City and was raised in Garden City in Westbury, New York, he graduated from St. Mark's School in Massachusetts in 1957 and went on to earn his BA from Princeton University in 1961 and an MBA from Northwestern University. And whereas since relocating to Glen Ridge in 2000, Stuart Patrick has been a long-standing advocate for all things Glen Ridge, including overseeing the renovation of his historic home and quietly supporting many charities within the borough. And whereas Stuart's civic work began very soon after his move to Glen Ridge, for many years he served as part of the Civic Conference Committee until he was elected to the Glen Ridge Council in 2008. Stuart served on the Glen Ridge Library Board from 2009 through 2015, Stewart was elected to a second term to the Glen Ridge Council in 2012, serving as both the finance chair and police commissioner during his tenure on council. And whereas Stuart K. Patrick was elected mayor in 2015, going on to serve two four-year terms, and whereas Mayor Patrick has affected change throughout the borough in so many positive ways, honorably representing the borough at the county and state levels, and providing leadership for the community, including throughout the pandemic. And whereas his dedication to public service has been a shining example of community service to the Glen Ridge residents. And now therefore be it resolved, in honor of Mayor Patrick's years of dedica dedication to the borough of Glen Ridge, we call upon our residents to join in and honor him for his contributions as a member of our community, dedicated volunteer, former council member, and his eight year tenure as the mayor of Glen Ridge. <coughs> Mayor, I think um, a few.
few of us also have some personal remarks, so we're just going to make you sit through this a little bit longer. <laughs> so I'll, I will, I'll start, but I really want to thank you uh, for serving our committee, and I really think it's important to know all of us work in a volunteer capacity, so it's, it's truly amazing um, the, the time that you have put in. And it's remarkable for what um, your leadership was not. And it was not about himself, and it was not about self-promotion, but with the goal to serve our community for the betterment of Glen Ridge and its residents. So thank you for your leadership and guidance during my tenure on council. And I have your cell phone number, <laughs> so you're not <laughs> off the hook. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Stuart, congratulations on a job very, very well done. You have many reasons to be proud of as the council and as mayor. Being mayor, as you know, isn't easy. The buck truly does stop on your desk. And all of the problems are yours, whether you want them or not. Um, you answered the call, the leadership and guidance uh, during some, frankly, impossible times uh, and made many, many important decisions for our community. Uh, how many PBA and CWA contracts did you help negotiate and get in place? How many fire contracts did you help execute between <laughs> ourselves and our neighbors <laughs> in Montclair? Uh, during your first term as mayor, uh, you saw an opportunity with low bond interest rates and you put forth a bond issue uh, and you made significant improvements to this building. Uh, the police station to our library. You purchased new equipment uh, for the public works and for our police department. And along the way, you refinanced all our pool debt. Um, seemed like things were looking pretty good for you at the end of your first term. Uh, and you probably should have quit then. <laughs> That's an understatement. Because <laughs> things got a whole lot tougher. Uh, March of 2020. Uh, things were rolling along. Mike Rohall retired. Mike Zucchelli came on board. He brought Eric DeLine with him. and That was a really nice, smooth transition. And then later in that month, the total curveball in, in the name of COVID hit us, and everything changed. There was no playbook. There was no training on how to deal with COVID. All of a sudden, we, we had to shut down, but yet governments can't shut down. They have to continue to deliver services. And uh, when you're the leader, you have to try and tell your people how they can deliver those services and remain safe. Um, we didn't know how COVID was, what it was. We didn't know how it was transmitted. We didn't know how really to deal with it. Along the way, we lost one of our very dear police officers early on in COVID. And we remember Charles Roberts. And Mayor, I remember how tough it was for you, what a gut punch it was for all of us. And yet we got through it. We learned how to change the way we do business. Um, we learned how to have meetings via Zoom. And we learned how to communicate better uh, electronically. It was a defining moment for our, our, our nation, our community, and for you. And you stood tall, and you answered the call, and you did a very, very good job. Um, after 2020 and 2021, we then had two big construction projects in town. We had the, the Claris project, which started out as a difficult project for us. Uh, it was uh, one that we did not initially welcome. Um, it was sort of foisted upon us by the developer. <coughs> Turns out, it turned out to be a great project, I think. It was well managed. We ended up with a, with a very nice looking building, and we, we now have an alternate housing option for both our residents who are looking to maybe to make a change or for other people coming in. Similarly, the, um, the medical office building at Montclair, um, that was a, turned out to be a very nice project for us and added nicely to our tax revenue. Um, the town line between Montclair, uh, between Montclair and Glen Ridge runs right through the center of that piece of property. And yet we managed somehow to uh, find a way to get the building entirely in Glen Ridge, and we were able to keep the parking in Montclair, and we were able to get the revenue. <laughs> <laughs> nice work on that one, Stuart. <laughs> after, after that, Stuart, 
Our water infrastructure constantly being improved. You continued all the good work that's been done with the Shade Tree Commission. Our roads are in better shape. Our sewers <laughs> continue to work. Uh, our gas uh, lines work and our library is, is operating beautifully. I think you have much to be proud of. I would finish by saying that the speeches that you wrote at our Memorial Day service were all well, they're just like you, Stuart. I mean, they're, they, are, they were well-researched. They were prepared. They were beautifully written. They were heartfelt. And they were, they were just right. So I thank you for your service. I really think you did a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Great. Um, I just have some brief remarks, Stuart. Um, as Mayor Patrick completes his assignment, it's a long-standing social requirement that we speak from our hearts as Stuart departs <laughs> to start on his early retirement. <laughs> Mayor Patrick has shown the ability in this hall to preside with agility, not known for glad handing, but this notwithstanding, he's upheld our civic civility. We can say without excess or levity that Mayor Patrick is first in longevity. <laughs> <laughs> and the key to long years, it oddly appears, is to govern each meeting with brevity. <laughs> <laughs> Since his record has many a win to it, his parting need have no chagrin to it. <laughs> so let's cast our gaze to the sunsetting haze as Mayor Patrick can now ride off into it. <laughs> I was going to go next, but I'm not sure. So no. <laughs> but uh, I, I just wanted to echo the comments of others. Um, I, I, I did want to specifically acknowledge the mayor's efforts, you know, throughout COVID. Uh, I joined the council in January 2020, and within a couple of months, the world fell apart. And, um, you know, I, I just admired uh, Stuart Patrick's leadership throughout that process. I, I know we embarked on a plan to follow the guidelines, follow the state guidelines, and then shortly thereafter, we realized there was either no guidelines or there was conflicting guidelines. And uh, I, I always felt the mayor had the best interest of the community at heart, and we were working with very limited information through a very difficult time, and uh, you should be commended for your leadership during that period. And you should also be proud that you left the borough in a, in a better, in better position following COVID than before COVID, so thank you. Um, I'll keep it uh, short and sweet as well. I remember interviewing you during my CCC process and signing uh, the, uh, the notary at, the, at Bank of America, and you're like, hey, I have a spot on the planning board. <laughs> Do you want it? I was like, okay. Um, and so I, I wanna thank you, I say, for your belief in me as new, I'm, I think I'm the newest council member here, two years of service, and thank you for your leadership. and For, for another your, few minutes. For another yeah. few minutes. Um, I, I, I hold that title for a few more minutes, but your leadership, your guidance, your patience, um, and kind of helping me navigate through this process. So I, 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 I appreciate your, your faith in me and, and the rest of us, and it's been a pleasure to work with you over these last two years, and enjoy your retirement. <laughs> All right, Stuart. <laughs> uh, I, I also would like to take this opportunity to thank you uh, for your service to our residents. Your eight years as mayor, your years at the, on the council. It is a major commitment of time, of mental energy. Um, you can't just, you know, decide COVID hits. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm just going to stay home and lock the door. Um, and I just gratefully acknowledge your service for, for all those years. Um, and to follow up on just a few of Peter's uh, comments, 
I wanted to just hi highlight a few. During my first months of the council and as a member of the planning board, we were faced with a lawsuit over the development of the Baldwin Street site, now known as the Claris. Um, an acknowledgement and many thanks to John Maliska, our borough attorney, to Michael Rohall, our former administrator, and to you, Mike Z, for uh, guiding us through that rather contentious period. Um, but I would say it was ultimately your vision, Stuart, and <coughs> your making the right policy decisions to move forward with the development and the construction of the Claris to provide the affordable housing units that came with the development. You successfully negotiated that stream of income to the borough, which, which we acknowledged. You made the decision during that period to also hold several town hall meetings to explain to the residents what was going on, what was going on with the lawsuit, what were the stakes involved, and um, how to really proceed with that. And I just, you know, want to let you know I just truly respect your process throughout that decision um, and how you communicated and, and held your sense of conviction for us to, to do the right thing. And then again, similarly during COVID, which I think after this holiday period, we can all acknowledge <laughs> remains with us still. Um, you demonstrated a sense of conviction, again, to do our best to protect our residents, to, to educate us, uh, participate in the resources that the county made available to us. And again, I would say Joe D also was truly an, an advocate for all of us during that period. But again, you recognized, as, as Peter acknowledged, the need to keep government open, yet balancing the needs of our public-facing employees, most notably our members of the police department, our public works uh, employees, our uh, recreation uh, d departments. We, we, had a, we had a duty to figure out how to keep that all open, yet uh, keep everybody safe. And I can recall participating in those weekly mayor's uh, calls, they were facilitated by the county. And though our town is the smallest of those many towns participating, I was very proud that you were there representing us together with, with Mike Z. And we, we had a voice on these calls thanks to you. And we asked the tough questions and we shared our experiences and we um, offered advice as to what we thought was, was working for us as well. And finally, I want to acknowledge your role in making public our borough's written and published statement that we are, and I quote, an inclusive community <clears throat> that welcomes diversity and believes in the safety, equality, and aspirations for all who live or work in or visit our borough. We don't have a professional communications team here in the borough. We draft, we, we review internally, we discuss generally what we want to say and, and how to say it. And I recall, Stuart, that you were instrumental in making sure that this statement on behalf of the borough was drafted, was published, and proudly referenced time and time again. And it was and it is important to you to indicate to all how we operate. We are open-minded, we are welcoming, and we want everybody to know that. So I will finish with a quote from that statement because I, I do believe it represents all of us and what we do here. We rec recognizing, honoring, and supporting a diverse and inclusive community where people are free to be true to themselves is a cornerstone of the borough. And I am proud of our commitment to these principles. Thank you, Stuart, for publishing and standing behind that message and for your service to all of us. Thank you. All right, you got one more, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm always jumping the gun. So, um, first of all, to the public, this is tremendous. I cannot remember the last time this room has looked like this in years. And thank you for coming, and thank you for being part of the process and being part of the community. Um, I'd like to thank you, Mayor, for uh, appointing me four years ago, I think. Uh, <laughs> it has been truly the wildest <coughs> four years of my life professionally and personally um, <laughs> what has happened and your uh, faith in myself 
and the staff is, is beyond appreciated, and I, I cannot thank you enough. Uh, your statement in the beginning of this meeting truly summarizes your legacy. Short and sweet to the point, let's get the work done behind the scenes, and it, uh, no way reflects the amount of time and effort and energy you put in um, in everything that you do. Uh, your professionalism at our meetings and your compassion sets the tone not only for the mayor and council, but as well as our staff here in the building, and it sets the level of expectation for all of us. And I'm truly gonna miss our uh, sit downs together where we uh, just sit in my office and uh, spend probably more time talking about your just absolutely incredible personal pursuits and endeavors that you're involved in. And uh, it's, it's, it's just truly amazing to me. So thank you for your leadership, thank you for your commitment to the borough, and thank you for your faith in all of us here today. Thank you, Mike. All right, I'll be brief, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's been an honor and pri privilege working for you. Um, although our time working together was relatively, was a relatively brief two and a half years, um, it's been nothing but uh, easy in relative terms working with you. Your leadership has been amazing. Um, I was appointed by you. Our department became accredited during your tenure. Um, we've become a progressive and more professional agency as a result of your leadership. And I just can't thank you enough for everything you did for our department. And I wish you luck in the future. Thanks. Thanks. One more thing. <laughs> 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 uh, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to congratulate you um, on, on all the accomplishments that you've done throughout all these years, and um, thank you for your service. It's been a pleasure um, working underneath you. I also moved through the ranks under your tenure, from the building department to the deputy clerk to the municipal clerk, and I'd like to thank you for all those opportunities, not only for all the classes um, that I went to, and um, the success that it's brought me and my family, and I just wish you, wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Karen. All right, so, so we have a small token for you. <laughs> maybe we can get some photos. We have a semi-professional. And then maybe all of us could, us could stand to the mayor. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Councilors Mance? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Lefkowitz? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thank you. Um, just one thought that I had in that everything that was mentioned here tonight was not a one man deal. This would took a lot of tension, a lot of detail, a lot of work by all the members of the council. And we're fortunate on top of that to have uh, so many other, it's got to be at least 100 other volunteers and diverse organizations throughout the town. And without their constant help, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, uh, well, it sounds good, that, but it's not a one-man show here. It's a very, very communal group and uh, uh, one that really uh, works out all of the details and problems before uh, jumping. So, thanks again. Um, if
there's no further business to come before this council, <coughs> I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting sine die. Mr. Mayor, I move that this meeting be adjourned sine die. I declare this meeting adjourned and announce that the Borough Council will reconvene immediately following the swearing-in ceremony. So just for the, the public, what happens next, we're gonna take, this was the closing of the 2023 Mayor and Council. We're gonna take a brief moment, regroup, and then uh, swear in our new 2024 elected officials. So we'll just be back in just a few moments.
saw the other day. No, no more You're okay. You're okay for a little while. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good evening, everybody. We have just um, We are going to begin with the uh, swearing in ceremony for 2024. Um, Mayor elect Deborah Manns, if you would please present yourself and your family for the purpose of subscribing to the oath of office. of the United States of America. I attest that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. I attest that I will perform. I attest that I will perform the duties and responsibilities. The duties and responsibilities upon incumbent upon a mayor. Incumbent upon a mayor. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. So help me God. So help me God. 
I should have paid more attention to um, Mayor, Mayor Patrick. <laughs> I'll call the meeting to order. In accordance with Chapter 231 of the Open Public Meeting Act, adequate and proper notice of this meeting has been given to the public by publishing a notice in the Glen Ridge paper, the Glen Ridge Voice, Montclair Times, and the Star Ledger, and posting said notice on the bulletin board in the municipal building. The agenda and public handouts for this meeting can be viewed online at www.glenridgenj.org. A public comment period will be held as listed on the agenda. Please state your name for the record and note that comments will be limited to four minutes per person. 
Kara, can I have a roll call, please? Yes, Madam Mayor. Councilors Lefkowitz? Here. Hughes? Here. Moody? Here. Law? Here. Meyer? Here. Morrow? Here. Madam Mayor is present. Madam Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you so much, Kara. Councilor Hughes? Uh, Mayor, I'd like to nominate Councilor Morrow to serve as the Council President of the Borough for the year 2024. Thank you for stepping up to serve in a voluntary capacity, Council Morrow. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure, thank you. Madam, Madam. I promise never to be absent. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you told me. So <laughs> All right, we have a proclamation. We should vote on that one. Uh, we'll, oh, no. Yeah, we need a, did we need a vote? Okay, um, can you do a roll call, Kara? I'll second. I'll second. Yeah. Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Madam Mayor, would you like to vote? Yes, please. Madam Mayor? Aye. Seven ayes, no nays. The motion carries. All right, thank you. Okay. Um, now we have a proclamation um, for Carol Harpster. You're not, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you did a lot. Where is Carol Harpster? born Carol Susan Pescatore, was raised in West Caldwell, New Jersey by her parents, Frank and Carolyn Pescatore. And whereas Carol earned a Bachelor of Science degree from Lafayette College, a master's degree in microbiology from Rutgers University, and an MBA from Columbia University. And whereas Carol and her husband, Joseph William Harpster, moved to Glenridge in 1987 and raised their two children, Allison and Ryan, on Oxford Street. And whereas Carol, and whereas inspired by her father, Frank Pescadori, avid volunteerism, it didn't take long for Carol to find her place serving the community. Carol is an active member of the Glen Ridge Congregational Church, having taught pre-K to, to three Bible study for 35 years, serving on the church council and as president of the Pilgrim School Board. Carol also served on the Glen Ridge Board of Education for eight years, including a term as president and closely supervised the construction and completion of the new wing of the Glen Ridge High School. And whereas Carol was appointed to the Glen Ridge Library Board of Trustees in 2004 and has dedicated countless hours to faithfully and faithfully serve the community for 20 years. During her tenure, Carol has overseen two significant renovations to the library and has served as president of the board. And whereas in addition to her volunteer work, Carol can be found spending time with her family into, including her two grandchildren, Timothy and Douglas, cooking, rooting on the New Jersey Devils or the New York Jets, and golfing with her friends at the Glen Ridge Country Club. Whereas Carol Harpster has dedicated countless hours of service to the borough, supporting the library and enriching the community, ensuring that the library is providing ever evolving and engaging user experience to all who walk through the library doors and beyond. And now, there be, therefore, be it resolved that I, Mayor Deborah Manns, on behalf of the entire Glen Ridge Council, Borough Administration, Library Board, and the community as a whole, recognize the invaluable resources Carol has contributed to the community, and we wish her well in her future endeavors. I was up here, it was for a rather large library meeting, the one before the really big one, but um, 20 years, it's been two, three directors, two interim directors, countless board members, uh, and a very dedicated library staff, and I think Stuart said it right, it's really a team, it's not about Stuart, it's not about me, it's about being surrounded by hardworking, paid professionals, and wonderful, wonderful volunteers. And all through that, I think the library board has certainly been blessed by the support of the mayor and the council, or I should say many mayors and many councils. Um, whether it's the HVAC breaking down or the chiller, COVID, Zoom meetings, uh, or more recently, you know, book ban and challenges, 
we've always felt as a library board that the council and the town has had our back and that has really meant a lot. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody for the support and uh, good luck to Jeffrey and Bernice and all the other library board members um, to the year to come. Thank you. for the year 2024 as amended and supplemented are hereby adopted as the bylaws of the Borough Council for this year. You've heard the resolution. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Councilor Rooney. And congratulations on your first second. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a roll call, Sarah? Yes, Madam Mayor. Councilor Lefkowitz? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Mara? Aye. Six ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Thank you. Um, I hereby appoint the following to the 2024 standing committees of the Borough Council. The first named on each committee shall serve as the committee's chairperson. Finance and Administration, Lefkowitz, Hughes, Meyer. Public Safety, Hughes, Morrow, Law. Community Affairs and Public Relations, Moody, Lefkowitz, and Morrow. Public Works, Law, Meyer, Lefkowitz. Parks and Recreation, Meyer, Law, and Moody. And Planning and Development, Morrow, Hughes, and Mo Moody. Sarah, do I need a resolution for that? No. Okay, thank you. With the advice and consent of the Borough Council, I appoint John and Melissa Esquire of Minor Landis to the position of municipal attorney for the term of one year. Council Law. Uh, yes, uh, Mayor Manza, resolution number uh, 2-24, be it resolved that the mayor's appointment of John Melissa and the firm Maynard and Landis to serve as the Borough's municipal attorney for the year 2024, 2024 and be in the same as hereby approved and confirmed. Uh, Madam Mayor, I move, seek to vote the resolution. Thank you, you've heard the resolution. Do I have a second? I will gratefully second that resolution. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you can't ask for a better borough attorney. Thank you. Can we have a roll call, sir? Councilor Lefkowitz? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Thank you. With the advice and consent of the Borough Council, I appoint the following to serve as officers and employees of the Borough of Glenridge and members of the various boards, commissions, and committees. There's a attached list, I won't read through it, but I do encourage everyone to take a look. Um, this is what makes Glenridge run, are these people, and we'll talk about them later, but our amazing directors in the, in the back of the room as well. So I thank them for that, and we always have vacancies, so if you are interested in serving on boards or committees, please let Mike Z know, or Eric, um, and uh, we'll, we'll get you sorted out. Uh, Councilor Morrow, yes. do I have a resolution yes, on that? I thank you. Uh, resolution uh, 3-24, this will confirm the appointments to the committees listed, be it resolved that the mayor's appointment to members <coughs> and for representatives to serve on the joint meetings for the terms in making said appointments be in the same hereby are approved and confirmed. Um, Madam Mayor, I move the resolution. Well, thank you, you've heard the resolution. Do we have a second? I'll second. Thanks, Councilor Law. May I have a roll call? Yes, Madam Mayor. Councilors Lefkowitz? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? <coughs> Aye. Six ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Thank you. Councilor Mayor? Madam Mayor, I have resolution 4-24. Uh, be it resolved that the regular meetings of the Mayor and Borough Council of the Borough of Glen Ridge during the year 2024 shall be held in the Council Chambers in the Municipal Building at 7.30 p.m. prevailing time on the following dates. 
at which official action may be taken, so I won't read through, uh, won't read through those as well. And be it further resolved that there shall be a workshop session at 6.30 p.m. in the mayor's office pre preceding every regularly scheduled meeting of the mayor and borough council. Be it further resolved that there shall be a meeting of the public safety committee at 5.30 p.m. preceding the first regularly scheduled meeting of the mayor and council each month. Take notice that due to the public, oh, do we start reading the COVID? Yeah, just the, in case. Just yeah. in case, take notice that due to the public health crisis, COVID-19 regular meetings of the mayor and borough council shall be held via conference call when necessary in order to protect the health and welfare of our residents, volunteers, and employees. The call-in number is 351-888-6756. Madam Mayor, I'd like to move the resolution. Thank you. You've heard the resolution. Do we have a second? I'll oh. second. Thank you, Councilor Lefkowitz. May I have a roll call? Yes, Madam Mayor. Councilor Lefkowitz? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thank you, Chair. Councilor Lefkowitz? Yes, Madam Mayor. I have resolution 5-24. <coughs> Establishing dates for the official holiday for the officers and employees of the borough of Glen Ridge for 2024. And uh, well, we've already gone past the first one, but uh, we can catch up with all the others. <laughs> I move the resolution. Thank you. May I have a second? I'll second. And Chair, roll call? Yes, Madam Mayor. Councilors Lefkowitz? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? <coughs> Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thank you. Councilor Hughes? Uh, Mayor, it's my, I, I would offer resolution 6 24. This is a temporary appropriation for operating purposes. Whereas the statute provides that where any contracts, commitments, or payments are to be made prior to the adoption of the 2024 budget, Temporary appropriations be made for the purpose and amount required in the manner and time therein provided. And whereas the date of this resolution is within the first 30 days of January 2024, and whereas there is a need for capital improvement and equipment amounting to $200,000, and it is appropriated to the capital improvement and equipment account, now therefore it be resolved by the mayor and council of the borough that the above temporary appropriation are approved. You've heard the motion by Councilor Hughes. Do I have a second? I'll second. You've heard, um, thank you, seconded by Councilor Lefkowitz. Is there any discussion on this resolution? Typical year end moving of money around in the budget. It's already been kind of earmarked. We just need to get it into the right spot. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Seeing no other discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Madam Mayor. Councilors Lefkowitz? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thanks. Councilor Morrow again. Thank you. I have resolution 7 24. Uh, this is the appropriation to our petty cash fund. Uh, be it resolved, the following claims be approved and warrants go out the same. Petty cash, $600. Police Department, petty cash, $600. Be it resolved, the Chief Financial Officer, Treasurer of the Borough, is hereby authorized to issue the petty cash fund. Mayor, I move the resolution. Thank you. You've heard the motion by Councilor Morrow. Do I have a second? I'll second. You second, second. My second, second. <laughs> <laughs> heard the motion by Councilor Morrow, seconded by Councilor Moody. Any discussion on this resolution? Seeing no discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Madam Mayor. Councilors Lefkowitz? Aye. Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thank you. I just have some um, brief remarks, and again, it's to thank Mayor Patrick who's sitting in the audience in incognito. <laughs> uh, but, and congratulations to Lori, Dean, and David on, on your swearing in, and I'm looking forward to, to serving with you both. And thank you again to all the folks volunteering uh, for our borough boards and committees. It's often said that one of Glen Ridge's strengths is the willingness of our amazing residents to give their time to our municipality. 
Uh, thank you to everyone who keeps us safe, the Glen Ridge Police Department, the Montclair Fire Department, our crossing guards, and our volunteer ambulance squad, and they serve our surrounding communities. And um, I just wanna take a brief moment to please convey our deepest um, condolences to Officer Brogan on the loss to his family. Um, and uh, tell him that we, we're thinking of him. And briefly looking ahead to 2024, here are a few of our priorities. We're increasing communications with residents, including a new electronic newsletter uh, that um, I know, did I get a couple of oohs on that? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's highlighted here, Jim. And an updated borough website. So I've said it, Mike, so we have to do it. <laughs> um, again, increasing our offerings for our senior citizen residents, and thanks to our new seniors program coordinator, which I know is near and dear to Councilor Moody's heart. Continuing our focus on pedestrian and bikeless safety through our Safe Routes to School grant, leadership within our police department with their new traffic officer program, investments in traffic improvements, continued coordination with the county on our county roads, and completion of a complete bicycle and pedestrian safety implementation plan. We're gonna work with our friends at the Board of Education <coughs> on the intersection of the community and our schools, including security and athletics needs, and we're supporting our public library during their renovations and strategic and capital planning. We're gonna work with our public works director and staff to increase our recycling rates mm -hmm. through increased education of awareness and enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> and we're looking forward to the work that has to be undertaken to to, for the reaccreditation of our police department through the New Jersey State Associations of Chiefs of Police, and we thank the <coughs> chief for his leadership on that. So thank you for electing uh, me just briefly. I'm really humbled and excited to serve, so thank you. to hear from the public if there's any remarks uh, now's your chance keep in mind we're going to Fitzgerald's after this so <laughs> <laughs> Gonna jump in. Oh, you, you yes. Can't, you can't I, silence me. I missed. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations. Oh, thank you. And um, I would uh, just like to say, uh, or just point out to you, you have a staff here that's been built out between Tara as our clerk, Jim Cowan as our director of recreation, Chief Quinn, Bill Bartlett our public works supervisor, Eric Lamine our deputy administrator our CFO, Matt Laracy, and Tina over in the library. There's over 100 years of experience there. 
You're half of that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. That yeah, feels that way. <laughs> and and uh, you have, a, I just think you have a, a great team behind you and, uh, and ready to go. And uh, furthermore, just furthering your message about the volunteers, the, the, the pages of volunteers and the hours of people, not only the staff, but the volunteers that put in the hours here, it's just, it, it's mind boggling. And um, yeah, we're, we're ready. And uh, good luck. <laughs> I won't need it with, with you guys. So I appreciate that. Um, so if there's no further business, uh, or remarks to come before this council, I will entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. Ooh, Madam Mayor, I move that this meeting be adjourned. I declare this meeting to be hereby adjourned. <laughs>